I uh, wanted to show off a new feature to Chili Pepper. It is the new uh, touch jog control, touch mouse scroll jog area. And it's a new feature available inside the Axes widget. Um, made a few updates recently, including this new custom move by. So in case you want to do something custom like 0.5 and then, uh, you know, jog it by that value. Um, you can do that. You can also hold down shift and it'll jog uh, by a 10x factor. You can hold down control or alt and it'll do a, um, let's see, what is that? 100x. And then control shift is uh, 1000. That's probably a little much on a value like that. But if you didn't notice, you can do the same thing of shift control and alt there as well. Um, but let's get to the really fun part, which is this new touch mouse scroll jog area. So I'm going to go to zero here. Uh, and, and, and actually, so you can see what's happening on my machine. I don't know if a lot of you know this, but there's a macro called uh, inject multicam. And uh, what this does is it will... Actually, let me load my version. It will uh, inject some cameras into the right column. You have to go to this URL to get there. But let's get to the fun. So I'm going to go ahead and see if I can... Uh, well, I'm just going to um, do some touch first. So on my touch... I have a touch screen laptop. Um, and I'm going to go ahead... And I'm going to try and trace the letter I. Let me zoom in for you. The I in Chili Pepper. Okay. Okay, so let me get my bearing straight. Okay, now I'm going to go straight up. Go left. Oh, I went a little too much get back to that corner and then straight down. A little bit back up and we'll go back over. Oh, I overshot it. Um, <laughs> you get the idea. Okay, now let's try that here. I'll try and go back to this tip of the eye. So that's um, if I zoom out, though, you know, maybe on a more normal basis, you're just trying to get to a different part of your CNC machine. So let's do a little... Notice, too, when I lift up, it uh, cancels all moves. So if I instead jump to a much larger number like one, or frankly, what I could do is hold down the shift key, and I'll, I'll move diagonal. When I lift up, it cancels the move. So we'll try that again. We'll go back the other way. Pretty good. Um, just keep in mind that you've got to keep touching uh, or it cancels the move. So I'll move across. And we'll let go. Now, you know, the deceleration sometimes could maybe get you in trouble, so, you know, get play with it and see what you like. That's the touch. Now, let's just try the scroll feature. So, you can also use your scroll wheel, or on your laptop, the two-finger scroll. So, you'll see I'm just kind of scrolling along. I'm going to scroll to the right a bunch. And if you're worried about it moving too much, the moment you scroll the other direction, it cancels the scroll. It sends the um, exclamation point uh, percent sign command. So we'll do a little bit more scrolling. Um, in fact, I'll scroll to the top of the chili pepper. Uh, that looks good. I'll scroll back a little, and then I'll scroll up. Oh, let's keep going. 
So, you know, the nice thing about scrolling, unlike the touching, is you can get perfectly straight lines. Um, okay, now, let's try it with the mouse. So, I'm going to, um, let's go to zero. And let's see, with the mouse, uh, actually, we'll scroll to the right a little bit. I'm going to see if I can trace this P with the mouse. So, I'm going to uh, zoom in a little. And then I'm going to start controlling with the mouse. Let's get up to the corner. A little bit more. Okay, now I'm going to try and trace the entire P with the mouse. Okay, I overshot it. So we'll go back here to where I think it is. Okay, and then we'll go across it to the bottom. I'll go up. Up the tinge. We'll go over. And back to the beginning. It's a little off because, of course, these are organic movements, but let's try that one more time. To the bottom. Not bad. And of course, um, when you're moving the mouse, uh, here, I'll hold down shift so I get my accelerator. And same deal, so I went off the screen. When you lift up, it cancels the move. So I'm holding down shift to accelerate, just to kind of roughly get where I want to go, and then lift up to cancel. Notice uh, the deceleration when you're on things like a one millimeter move or slower. Let's leave it on a point one and try that. The deceleration is a lot quicker. But of course you're not moving as far. We'll go diagonal. Okay, so let's now try, I'll go back to zero and we'll just do some fun stuff. Um, with my finger, I'm going to just twirl around the center in a little swirl pattern a few times, and then just come right back to the middle. And we pretty much ended up at the correct spot. Let's try that with the mouse. So we'll start in the center, and we'll just start doing a swirling pattern. Alright, so uh, hope you guys enjoy the touch mouse scroll jog area. I will say I have never seen anything like this inside a CNC program, and you gotta love the browser for making all of this stuff so easy to do, relatively speaking. By the way, you can toggle on and off the touch pad um, from here, um, from the new toolbar button. Uh, okay, enjoy.